gotta say, that's a little creepy, Doc. Waking up to you standing over me. You been watching me sleep? We're always watching you. Now get up. We've got a lot of work to do. Ooh, wonder who I get to kill today. Don't be so cavalier. Your ancestors almost had the right idea, Mr. Miles. If the deaths of a few people, evil people, no less, could save the lives of thousands more, well... It seems a small sacrifice. What do you mean, almost? They didn't go far enough. To use a rather tired analogy, corruption is no different than cancer. Cut out the tumors, but fail to treat the source and... Well, you're buying time at best. There's no true change to be had without comprehensive, systemic intervention. Chemo for the masses. Education. Re-education, to be more precise. But it's not easy, and it doesn't always take. Let me guess. You've got a better solution. What is it, then? <laughs> now that would be telling. They can't tell us yet. The fucks. Let's do this. Let's get back in. I'll tell you if he's still alive. He's telling us to the last weather alert. Obviously. Let's do this. Okay, next memory. Let's do it. When you have been exposed to the guards. Oh, I've lost all my cool shit. I've lost all my armor and weapons. I just look like a rookie. Until you are anonymous again. Absolute rookie assassin right there. I am alive. But I saw you stab me. Felt death's embrace. You saw what I wanted you to see. And then you slept the sleep of the dead. Of the womb. That you might awake and be reborn. To what end? Do you remember, Altair, what it is the assassin fight for? Peace. In all things. Yes, in all things. It is not enough to end the violence one man commits upon another. It refers to peace within as well. You cannot have one without the other. So it is said. So it is! But you, my son, have not found inner peace. It manifests in ugly ways. You are arrogant and overconfident. Were you not the one to say that nothing is true and everything is permitted? You do not understand the true meaning of the phrase, my child. It does not grant you the freedom to do as you wish. It is a knowledge meant to guide your senses. It expects a wisdom you clearly lack. Then what is to become of me? I should kill you for the pain you brought upon us. Malik thinks it only fair. Your life in exchange for his brothers. But this would be a waste of my time and your talents. You'll see you have been stripped of your possessions. Your rank as well. You are a novice. A child once more. As you were on the day you first joined our order. I am offering you a chance at redemption. You'll earn your way back into the Brotherhood. I assume you've something planned. First, you must prove to me you remember how to be an assassin. So you'd have me take a life? No. Not yet, at least. For now, you're to become a student once again. There is no need for this. Others track your targets for you, but no more. From today on, you will track them yourself. If this is what you wish. It is. Then tell me what it is that I must do. We have been betrayed. Someone was assisting Robert de Sable. One of our own. You must find him and bring him here for questioning. What can you tell me of the traitor? Ah, but that's just it. I've given you all I will. The rest is up to you. Well, shit. It's all up to me now. Well, let's do it. You've been demoted. Weapons lost. Ability lost. Weapons lost. I've lost everything. Can't do shit. Right now, I can't even run. I'm just some embarrassing monk looking dude. Do I even have a hidden blade anymore? I don't think I do. I don't. I definitely don't have... Jesus, I don't have anything. I forgot. I forgot you lost literally everything. Time to do this. Let's investigate 
and find the traitor and learn how we'll get our targets. Safety and peace, Altair. You're in my way. Yes, Al Mu'alim has asked that I assist you. Remind you how it is we hunt our prey. I know how it works. Be that as it may, I have no desire to disobey. Then be quick. The Assassin have many tools at their disposal. Yes, yes. We can eavesdrop, we can pickpocket, or we can use violence to intimidate. Good, you remember. So you'd have me walk amongst the others and learn what I can about the traitor? Yes. Begin by going to the village market. That's where we first spotted the traitor. You know who it is? Perhaps. Then give me a name and let's be done with it. That's not the way it works. Now go. And remember, begin your search in the village market. These guys really know how to fuck with him. The true redemption story. Unlike Arno's, which made no sense. Whoop. Okay. So the really main criticism of the game is that all these investigation missions, there's like four kinds I think, maybe five, they're just kind of rinsed and repeated. The only really unique thing is always the ending assassination, and they're fucking awesome in this game, that's what I love. Every sequence, the assassination at the end, all very different, all very cool. But the lead up can be a bit uh, of a drag on, but ne ne nevertheless... Lift up on them, so I want to find a hiding spot we can listen in. Let's sit down on this bench and have a little, little sneak peek. I know what I saw. Musun opened the gate. He let the Templars in. Then you must tell Al Muallim. I can't. Masun did not act alone. Someone inside the fortress helped him. What makes you say this? He exchanges letters with someone inside. The basket weaver carries them for him. That's no reason to stay silent. Ah, but the weaver delivered him a letter just before the attack. I suspect it held the order to open the gate. Then speak to the weaver. He can name Masun's accomplice. He's disappeared. Hiding for fear of being dragged into this. <laughs> Probably inside one of his own baskets. There we go. That's the first piece of the investigation. So we need to talk to this basket weaver that delivers letters and try to pickpocket letters or information from him. Let's find this basket weaver. Where is he? Where is he? I think he's around the corner here. There he is. Please, just one. We lost everything in the attack and have no place to store our grain. I... I can't right now. I'm busy. Is this about the letter? W what letter? The letter you received when I got here. Bad news? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, I'll see what I can do, but please, I need to be alone right now. Come back later. As you wish. Yep, he's definitely got a letter. And I'm gonna take that shit. Try to not be suspicious at all when I do it. Thank you very much. That's my letter now. So now we can find the dickhead that sent the letter and beat the shit out of him. Sent the letter, received the letter, I don't know. Manu, you're getting the shit kicked out of you, my friend. Why? Well, because I said so. I see the way you look at me. Hear the things you say. A traitor? I'm not a traitor. It's Al Mu'alim who's betrayed us. Two days' attack was but the first. And more will follow unless you repent. Give up hmm. your wicked ways. Rise up against the madman of Masyaf! See through his lies! Hey man, so I'm just gonna wait if you don't... Okay, I'll be gone for now. Hey mate, just go walk off so I can beat the shit out of you in an alley and no one sees. That'll be great, that'd be ideal. I'm just gonna stand behind you suspiciously, praying. Even though I'm obviously an assassin like everyone else in this village. I'm 
music's so tension building. Makes you feel like super suspicious at all times. I love how he goes and preaches all this hate and then goes down a dark alley by himself. Perfect spot for me to just assault him. Like I'm about to. Sure is. Enough! I yield! I yield! Speak quickly then. I've no interest in your games. Why did you betray us? And who do you serve? We serve the Templars. You should too. Their cause is just. We? Jamar. He told me of their plans. Asked me to open the gate. You betrayed us. We, who called you brother and kept you safe from harm. I did what I believed was right. And if you must kill me for it, so be it. Yep, okay. I am not afraid to die. We'll see. Your fate is not for me to decide. It's Al Muallam who will judge. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Don't worry, man. You're gonna die. And you're gonna cry like a bitch. You stand accused of betraying our brotherhood and opening the way for our enemies. How do you answer to these charges? I deny nothing. I'm proud of what I did. My only regret is that they failed. I offer you a chance to repent. To renounce the evil in your heart. It is not evil in my heart. But truth. I will not repent. Then you will die. <laughs> you did well, Altair. And have earned the right to carry a blade once more. What will become of the one who helped him? It remains to be seen. Some do ill out of ignorance or fear. These men can be saved. Others suffer from corrupted wills, their minds poisoned and twisted. These men must be destroyed. Soon enough, we'll know what sort of man Jamal is. I've passed your test then. What now? <laughs> oh, my child, we've only just begun. I hold here a list. Nine names adorn it. Nine men who need to die. They are plague bringers, war makers. Their power and influence corrupts the land and ensures the Crusades continue. You will find them. Kill them. In doing so, you'll sow the seeds of peace, both for the region and for yourself. In this way, you might be redeemed. Nine lives in exchange for mine. A most generous offer, I think. Have you any questions? Totally? Kind Only of? where I need begin. Very well. Ride for Damas. Seek out the black market merchant named Tamir. Let him be the first to fall. Be sure to visit the city's assassin bureau when you arrive. I'll dispatch a bird to inform the Rafik of your arrival. Speak with him. You'll find he has much to offer. I guess now it's time. If you believe it best. I do. Besides, you cannot begin your mission without his consent. What nonsense is this? I don't need his permission. It's a waste of time. It's the price you pay for the mistakes you've made. You answer not only to me, but all the Brotherhood as well now. So be it. Take your equipment and go. Prove that you are not yet lost to us. Okay then. Time for our first assassination. We've got a hidden blade back, we've got a sword. Let's do this. We ride for Damascus to kill Altair, our first Templar. It seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield a blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. Ah, uh, fine. I'll do it. Sit down. 
Hey, little boy. Sit down. Just humiliating these rookies. That's not it. There we go. And that's my students. It's how we all should fight. fight. Yeah, I got the shit. I know what's up. No, I'm good. I'm just gonna exit if you don't mind. You Thank must you. be busy. Yep. I understand. Yep, fuck off. I'm busy. Too busy for this shit. The beautiful mountains of the Holy Land. We're right for Damas. For our first proper assassination in the game and in Assassin's Creed history. I might add. Leap of faith! I forgot our first time we go to each city, we actually have to go through the freaking kingdom. And ride to the place, you can't just fast travel straight to the city. We actually have to ride there properly. Great! Perfect! That's what you want. Oh well, let's do it. When the Animus shows you are being watched by an informed guard, you should blend immediately. Even the slightest disturbance will attract his attention. Wild swings! Oh, cool little Easter eggs for you guys. Oh, hang on, we'll wait for this little nice scene that shows the kingdom. Easter egg for you guys. We have, where is he? So the blue, blue allies, reds, enemies. There we go. So that's the other traitor they were talking about. Easter egg, because he's not in the story, but he's out here in red. So I'm going to kill him. Guys, he's a traitor, I swear. I'm not killing the rest of you, I'm just killing this guy. There's the traitor. Guys, I'm not killing you. I'm not killing you. Ride! My valiant steed! Leave the innocent assassins be. The traitor is dead. What the hell? Oh yeah, I have to, I have to do my first viewpoint. I forgot. Viewpoints. It's all weird because right now this is such a normal thing, but really this is the first time, the first time playing this or anyone really playing this back in the day, this was the first time you did any of this stuff. Synchronizing viewpoints, leap of faiths, assassinations. Eagle Vision or anything like that. This is the first of firsts. You take it for granted now, but so special back in the day. The difference is you have to have viewpoints in this game because if you don't have viewpoints, you can't find all the investigations. But you don't actually have to do all the investigations for each assassination to unlock it. You need to do, I think, two or three. And then you can actually go ahead with the assassination. You've got kind of like enough info. But we'll talk about that way more when we get there. First we ride through the kingdom, the Holy Land. A bit of a shame. You literally do nothing. There's no missions. They built this whole open world region. And it's only for riding through... To get to each city the one time, then you can fast travel. All that's in here is collectibles. Flags and Templar agents. That's it. There's no other reason to be here. At any point. Bit of a waste. I'm not sure if there was like, they built it and they had all these plans for extra missions here, but... It just feels a bit weird. You might as well just fast travel. Oh, wrong way. It's hard to tell because your mini map is, is it like a compass, it's not actually showing you any of the map. It's just like here's the kind of direction. You figure out the curves and turns and twists you have to go through to get there. But we'll get there. 
I know enough, surely. And as usual, getting chased. And you get a lot of hints of the war going on, the you know, Third Crusade at the time. So there's a lot of different factions and countries and armies around, and a lot of army camps in these villages. But again, just no stories. Just really there for the setting, and for to ride through one time, or, or three times for the three cities. No need, guys. I'm fine. I'm just going to keep riding. That's right with you. If it's, if it's all the same to you. You'd think there would have to have been some use for the kingdom, right? A bit more use than just this. I mean, it's very beautiful, unique. I haven't seen a setting like this, um, or a countryside area like this since uh, Assassin's Creed 1. Very unique, the Middle Eastern setting. I'd like to see it again, e or something a bit different like Egypt. Definitely would be a big variation from what we've been looking at lately, but we're now arriving at Damascus to do our first assassination. So in the next episode, we will complete our first proper assassination, show the full investigations of an assassination in the first city in Assassin's Creed Damascus.